night, Kamala held a town hall, and it had all the spontaneity of synchronized swimming. I wonder, would the audience be able to ask questions? Are we going to be able to you're not, unfortunately. We have some predetermined uh, questions, and I hopefully I'll be able to ask some of the questions that might be in your head. I hope so. Yeah. Sorry, toots. Sorry, toots. You're just a prop. And come on, we didn't even give you a primary, and you think we're going to let you ask unscripted questions? Hell, Kamala can't even answer scripted questions. We give her a week in advance. So right off the bat, we got the lay of the land. Another manicured platform for Kamala to blurt out her now legendary word salads. I mean, this broad ought to come to every event with a side of ranch and a bag of croutons. <laughs> Still, these things cannot be overlooked. These things cannot be overlooked. And, and I have said many times publicly, and I'll say it again, in many, many ways, Donald Trump is an unserious man. Mm, yeah, an unserious man. How rich, coming from the candidate who is half Indian, half hyena. <laughs> but, it's, but it's Trump who's the unserious person. You know, the guy that built half the NYC skyline has already been president quite successfully, I might add. A guy who raised a beautiful, successful family that anybody would be proud of. A man who has literally taken a bullet for a job he didn't even need. A man... A man who our adversaries admit they respect and even fear. Yeah, he's the unserious one, you dizzy dumbass. <laughs> and look at Liz Cheney sitting there. <laughs> she looks thrilled. It's like she's thinking, I quit my political party and all I got was this lousy wino. <laughs> but look, I watched the town hall for only one reason hoping to hear one more time about the nature of a democracy, where I think there's a duality. The nature of a democracy is such that I think there's a duality. On the one hand, there's an incredible strength when our democracy is intact. An incredible strength in what it does to protect the freedoms and rights of its people. Oh, there's great strength in that. And it is very fragile. It is only as strong as our willingness to fight for it. Oh, I never get tired of hearing that. <laughs> and she never gets tired of saying it. <laughs> you know, I think that there's a duality to the nature of democracy. When it's intact, oh, it's so strong. So strong in its nature. And it is very fragile. There's a duality to the nature of democracy. On the one hand, incredible strength when it is intact, incredibly strong, and incredibly fragile. The nature of democracy, there's a duality to it. On, on the one hand, it's very strong. When a democracy is intact, it is also very fragile. <laughs> Look, Kamala, if you're going to recycle old crap, at least dress it up a bit. <laughs> Tyrus's idea is always bongos. Uh. The nature of a democracy is such that I think there's a duality. On the one hand, there's an incredible strength when our democracy is intact. An incredible strength in what it does to protect the freedoms and rights of its people. Oh, there's great strength in that. It is very fragile. It is only as strong as our willingness to fight for it. Oh. Yep. Now, to most people, she sounds stupid. But is she really? Jim Garrity at National Review suggests maybe she isn't. He says the caricature of Kamala Harris as a bumbling dunce makes it easy to underestimate her. It's kind of like how you root for Jesse Waters despite his glaring incompetence. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Jim also claims that her skill is really getting Democrats emotionally invested in her. It certainly worked with Willie Brown. <laughs> but that's more than a joke. It's a fact that getting Dems emotionally invested in her means she gets others to do the work she won't do, whether it's Willie Brown or willing Brown voters. 
See what I did there? I know. But I get what Jim's saying. Don't just say, wow, she's just a dummy, because even if you're right, no one's going to hear it. People do the same thing with Trump. They overlook his actual deeds and focus on his words. Take the latest. Trump calling Democrat leaders the enemy from within. Congressman, do you consider Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi to be the enemy from within? All Trump doubled down on his Hitler talking points about the enemy from within. Donald Trump repeatedly referred to prominent Democrats and others on the left in the United States, American citizens, as, quote, the enemy from within, unquote. Donald Trump has been given opportunity after opportunity to either downplay or clarify his comments about what he called the enemy from within. A major party candidate. Yeah. Calling his political opponents, quote, the enemy within. All that douchebag outrage. <laughs> even though, even though Democrats not only said the same thing about enemies within, but they actually acted on it. Remember when these a-holes claimed there was extremism within our military? It was big news until the threat was debunked, then the story went away. Or what about the scourge of white privilege and systemic racism that labeled the majority of people, again, within the country, as oppressors and in need of serious re-education that gave us a divided country, DEI, and a ton of terrible Disney movies? <laughs> and don't ever forget what they did to anyone during the pandemic who dared to question their BS policies and their lies. So save your outrage. Trump calling Pelosi and Schiff the enemy within is peanuts compared to calling tens of millions of Americans the enemy from within. Hell, you even jailed a bunch of them while letting actual enemies from within, murderers, arsonists, and rapists, go free, which created a new demand on the American public. We now must be diligent all the time. When we're on the streets, on public transportation, about what our kids are being taught in school, who's in our restrooms, who's coming into the country. It's a lot of pressure on us, and we're ready to blow. So that's why the town hall had to be orchestrated. You can't have ordinary people asking a phony candidate questions about the last four years. It had to be stage managed, just like it was the last four years. Because if you knew the truth, then you'd see the enemy within in all its glory, and you'd toss it out on its lying ass. Yeah.